Well, boys, we are back with another video. And as the plan's been, I've moved on to Tomorrow's Falls. Uh, first named I've been going after is Single Malt. Uh, no space. The placeholders are Award Howlers. There are a lot of them. They are in this entire area. And there's a there's a whole bunch out here that are roamers. I finally found a three spawn area that are all static. There's one here, one here that's about to respawn on us, and then the the boss over there. So I'm gonna move over just a hair to get away from the respawn. Um nine minute respawn. So not horrible. Uh, usually this zone is jammed full of people, and for some reason right now it's empty. So I'm I'm happy about that. Let me uh, load up wounds, and I will buff up Jobber and just send him here in just a second. Uh, yeah, we're good to go. We'll send him. First thing I'm going to do is clear out. I uh, I left the trade skill stuff on each one of the corpses so I could remember where I was fighting because I would I had been roaming around quite a bit. You know what? I'll have to get that at another point. I don't want to just sit here and waste my time or yours. So here we go, we'll get wounds on, and I'm going to assume this is just like any other tier 1 zone, and we're safe, there's nothing to worry about, we just need to... Did I get that spell memorized? Yeah, I did. We just need to get the dots on and take care of business. I have a lot of pets on this one, because I have been leaving leaving everybody around just I I tried to fight at first in the uh, kind of open area where all the roamers were and I was losing I was having a hard time tracking down what placeholders I had already killed and which ones you know were just roaming around so I finally just roamed around a bit just like the roamers do and I found this area in the woods that has a three spawn setup and, and that really is probably best for us just since we're not as a solo player just clearing out everything that's in our path we want to strategically hit the uh, placeholder mobs it's hard when they're roamers and you're not sure when there's multiple roamers and you're not sure who who have you killed and who's a uh, Who's respawned and who hasn't? So find yourself this uh, static camp. And since it's nine minutes, you can make the decision yourself. Do you want to clear it out, all three of them? Do you want to clear out just one at a time and just wait the full nine minutes? Um, I just decided I'd clear out all three. I uh, wasn't doing much else. I didn't even click robes. Wow, you know. Sometimes it's like I'm trying to set myself up for failure. Didn't even click robes, so this is like half a burn, essentially. Um, the good news is that it's this is a tier one, and it's just going to start dropping uh, very, very quickly. Now that we've got twin cast and um, spire going, we might even recover and make ourselves. Yeah, we just crossed the mill, so we'll at least knock this out in a pretty decent amount of time. I suppose I should do a little bit of digging online to figure out why this uh, battle warg is called single malt with um, no space. I'm, I'm gonna guess there's some something in the previous expansions that the falls were released in, or maybe it's tied to this one. I don't know, but it just seems odd that they have that. So there we go, boys. Dead, dropped, over with. Um, 
disappointing. I read online that single malt was the mob that would drop either the um, weapons or shield trade skill. And apparently I, instead I got a Merc belt. So yeah, we'll see what this is. Uh, cudgel. So Monk and Beast, one-handed blunt. It's tradable, so I will pick it up and offer it out in uh, general. Um, I'll do. I, I want to make sure I don't. Okay, good. There's something on there. So let me see if I can get this other corpse out of the way. But boys, um, all right. Enough of that. There is this part. I don't recommend uh, camping this. Why am I so turned around? This part up here, there's just too many roamers. All of this up here, all of these ward howlers are placeholders. There's two, there's three, there's probably three more over there. There's sometimes some down here. Uh, it can just be very confusing as to which ones you've already cleared and which ones you haven't. So you want to head into the woods and you will locate this three spawn. There's one, there's two, and I think the other one's right there. Yeah, there's three. And just clear them out however you'd like, you know, but you really want to stick with the static spawns. You don't want to go with the rumors. There we go. And there, finally. And that's all you need right there. You know, as you saw uh, with my, you know, stupidity, I'm I'm a little sick, so I've got way too much cold medicine in me. Um, I was I I skipped clicking the road burn, and yet we still knocked it out with a normal, you know, 1.5 million or. Yeah, 1.5 million DPS. So that's it, boys. Pretty sure this video helped you guys. It did take me a little bit to figure out, hey, go to the static camps. Ignore those roamers. So I'm sure it'll help you boys of your camp for single malt. Uh, one word, not two. And I will see you all in the next video.